November 29th, 2022. Been over exactly one month since the unfortunate incident that I had to endure. Losing, well not exactly losing, but taking away most of everything that I had for over 12 years, social media wise. Now, still in the waiting game. It's also been over a month since my Facebook also fell victim to the hacker. Fighting to do what I can to get everything, most of what I have back. My YouTube, my Facebook, that's just about that. The Instagram, not really so lucky. So much has gone through my head during this time. Depression being one of them is an understatement. Failing to try to be happy as you possibly can. Although it's an emotion unknown, that's also how, you know, people would feel nowadays. Now, currently, as of right now on the PC, being unable to access everything on my channels, what I have, what I have available right now, right now impossible. That's currently the only way for me to access YouTube as a whole is this iPad and my phone. And so currently, right now can't upload videos from my computer. There's like so many things that are cling that I'm trying to cling on to. So currently right now, I'm still waiting on the results from my appeal form, which was which actually included the video and issue that was uploaded by the hacker. The longest I'm willing to wait before I submit one more appeal is probably around January where I will submit the, my, well, I will submit Lego Fan 506's channel ID and put in more details as possible. And regardless if this prolongs the investigation, that's another chance I'm willing to take. My Facebook, on the other hand, through the app on my phone, Although I was able to change my password, it doesn't change it. It doesn't change anything. So I'm still clinging on to Facebook. And yet, over a month later, I'm still waiting to hear what they have to say, whether if they're going to disable or let me continue using my account. Lots of you could say, just make a new one. And while that might, that most likely will be the case, I still have to wait. The longest I'm willing to wait to see when if my chat, if my account on Facebook gets disabled, February is the longest I'm willing to wait for. And maybe I'll by then, if not, if I still get nothing, I might have to make a new Facebook account, even if it means I might lose most of my memories, or my friends and everything that I had and earned during my during all that time. So for those of you who are looking me for who are looking for me on Facebook right now, don't. You're not going to be able to find me because currently my account is still suspended due to sus suspicious posts that were made by the hacker. You may also say, "Why didn't you unlink your email from your Facebook while you still could have?" And that is commonly a question I often ask myself. Why didn't I take that action? Probably because in the heat of the moment, I thought, well, the well, you know, they hacked my YouTube channel. That's all they're gonna do. And even and I, you know, I'm working on getting my email back. Little did I know that was a mistake. 
a big mistake that I now regret, not taking action to prevent my Instagram and Facebook being hacked. And then my channel would have been the only one that I would be fighting to get back. So, but during this time, this, I mean, this wasn't the break that I wanted, but I did want it to have a break for quite some time from face from YouTube due to the pressure of putting videos together. I did want that at some point, but just not that fast. Not like this. And I still have some trucks box that I feel like I want to open on video. I could do it right here on my vlogging channel, but I just feel like little fan six for that was more appropriate. A couple of videos that I shot before or after my channel was hacked are all up and ready to go. But due to the fact that I cannot access my channel through, or you know, my Lego Empty Fan TV channel, my vlogging channel, due to the fact that I don't have access through my PC, I cannot upload any of those. And to ask, like, you know, can, you can upload them through my iPad or my phone would be an understatement. But it feels like it's a lot to do. It's probably not easy. It's probably not possible. <sighs> and to under the understatement of feeling like you know that you made promises before you were hacked, not thinking that it would happen to me of all people, or even especially you guys. The feeling that you were forced to delay it and wait for a certain amount of time to do something like that is unfortunate and it's depressing it's depressing but when you're hacked and don't have your channel back or don't have access what choice what choice do you have and although this might not have anything to do with uh my channel being hacked the fact that we lost one of our childhood actors jason david frank god rest his soul very sad You might also be asking, why am I talking like this? It's because, like, really, I don't really feel the enthusiasm, enthusiasm, the enthusiasm, to or or the motivation. I don't have the motivation to, to express my creativity or, you know, the creativity right now is not all there. It's kind of dead at this point. Because right now, obviously, I don't have access to my vlogging channel and my Lego MTV channel. Lego, I can't even say the other one. And kind of because it's a long name, long way, long one to say. I don't have access to them through my PC. They're still up, but can't upload videos through my PC. Probably as I already said about three times. So. It's just really hard for me to wrap my head about around this reality. To say you want that to hear something from it the next day is also an understatement. You want to hear back from them as soon as possible just so we can hear an answer and get it over with and move on. There's also another feeling that is an understatement as well. It's just... Oh, I think lots of things that go through your head, you can't really wrap it around. For as for vlogging in the upcoming days, you're not going to really see a whole lot come, going forward. I do want to bring on that uh, subject for just a minute. I didn't vlog Thanksgiving because it, for one, it's the same song and dance. You know, me and my uncle's house. You know, et cetera, et cetera, football. Stuff like that. Nothing too special. I, it is special. It was a it was a special holiday. But, however, as you probably know, since Dee Dee, my great great grandmother, passed away earlier this year. No. Excuse me. We we normally have Christmas Eve's at her house, but because we sold the house and we're moving on with our lives, we're changing the traditions. We're going to my Uncle Kyle's house, and uh, that's going to be moved over. So, 
I will probably vlog, but it's going to be through my phone because until then, until I get my access through the PC again, I cannot use this camera. This also puts into question what's going to happen to your monster truck videos. Well, I mean, the independents I usually put on LEGO Fan 6. The Monster Jam ones I usually put on LEGO MT Fan TV, but until then, right now, I do not know. I honestly want to cry, but it's just that, like, I don't know. I just feel like I don't really have the energy. And to all, there's still people out there who are hoping that I will recover from this, and I will. And there's people who are also wishing me luck on getting mainly my YouTube channel back and my Facebook account. Those people I really give my life to because like there's still people out there who even recognize me from Lego Fan 6 who come to know me as Mark Galloway and everything that really melts my heart that really uh puts into perspective and say that you know you still have people who care the fact that you guys say that you know you're not alone gives me hope the fact that there's people who say that, you know, you know, things will be okay. That's also grateful. You know, I feel grateful that there's people there who I gained respect, whether if I, I was a creator, as a person trying to pursue their dream, or just me. That's just, I owe that to all of you. There's honestly a lot I want to say, but right now, because like I'm all in this, wrapped up in this dilemma, it's really hard to express. And it's really hard to have all that energy and have like, you can't really say it properly. But just to know that like, you know, that you know, you still have plans for your channel going forward, even after it's restored and reactivated, that is a promise and will that I want to keep having, even if the chances are slim. But to be honest, guys, this is just my update. I mean, I'm sorry if it doesn't really feel so much of an update, but I just want to give you a statement of what I've been. But as an update, though, I'm okay. You know, am I happy? Absolutely not. I'm not entirely happy, you know, like, I still feel like I was robbed, but lucky enough to survive, and, but, like I said, depression that I suffered from this dilemma is an understatement, like, I'm okay, I'm handling this maturely, but it's just painful it's just extremely painful to experience like you know that the the loss of what you everything you worked for since you were young up until then when you're nearly at 100,000 subscribers and then suddenly in a snap of a finger everything is turned upside down like you're like you're trying to be very careful but all of a sudden things are turned upside down <sighs> So, I'm still in contact with YouTube partner support. And, uh, you know, I'm asking them, like, D did you hear anything? But right now they're still saying, all we have to do is wait. They did say you can submit another form if you want to, if, to provide more details, but it could prolong the investigation. And like I said, the longest I'm waiting to wait for this is until after Christmas. And then if I still don't hear anything by January, I will submit one more form with more details as possible and my channel ID. And I'm also willing to wait until February to see if my Facebook is either disabled or is accessible again. But as of right now, I'm still in the waiting phase. But don't worry, guys. Like, there will be... 
Although I'm not going to be as active on YouTube right now, basically due to the dilemma and lack of access for my PC, I will not be as active so much. Sometimes this makes me wonder, if there's hackers who do it for good, why can't we have people like those? Also, to keep you guys up to date, no, they did not get my TikTok, they did not get to my bank, they did not steal any monies, they did not get to, well, what I had left, they didn't get to my eBay, but like my Facebook and YouTube have just fell victim to it. Uh, but, but that's all I have to say as of right now. And also, once I get back on track, once my channel is back and my Facebook, whether if it's disabled or still accessible, becomes accessible again, I will delete videos relating to the incident and then I'll just move on from there. But my creativity it needs some time to redevelop even once my channel is back. Not only that, but I have to make my videos public again. My videos are not saying that they're, you know, not available anymore. They're just listed as private. So... I will also have to keep up with my the people that I work with on my comic dubs to let them know what's going on. And then I'm, hey, you know, I'm working on this. But guys, I um, just want to let you guys know, you know, I miss you. There will be a time when I come back. But just right now, because of this dilemma still going on, that I'm trying to do what I can to fix. Um, it's really, you know, hard to grasp. And, you know, I it's really hard to upload videos when you don't have a PC to upload your videos from. But anyways, guys, um, that's my latest update. I'll probably get back to you within a couple weeks. And uh, But if you see Lego Fan Power 6 pop up at some point, then, you know, hey, you know, I'm back. And once that channel is back up, after I make my videos public again, and once and before I get back to work, I will publish my full story of what I went through in this dilemma, and what it was like to deal with. You probably already got a hint. But anyways, guys, to those of you who are still in touch with me, thank you so much. And thank you for the endless support. And I also want to thank some of my YouTube friends, some who went through this, and, and, and similar incident like this. You know, I owe you everything. And, you know, like to keep, to let you guys, to have you guys say, you know, you're going to be okay. You know, that you still have much more to live for. And, you know, we're going to fix this. You guys are my true best friends. And even if we're not best friends, like from high school, you know, I still owe you everything. And I also want to thank Tyler for, you know, you know, keeping me company making sure that you know i'll pull through and i know i will try i will do what i can to pull through it's just right now things are like up and the on the tip of my fingers but anyways guys that's my latest update i'll keep in touch with you and i hope to see you guys again as soon as possible just rest assured i will be back this is not the end mark galloway is not dead